real God. If Jehovah God is your God, tell him tonight, God, you are excellent. I come on this mountain tonight to seek the face of my God. If somebody online, lift up your voice. I'm on this mountain tonight to seek the face of Adonai Siba, of the Lord God of hosts, the God who was, who is, and is to come, the Almighty. I come, oh God, on this mountain top, oh God, tonight to say, Lord, I worship you. To say, Father, I appreciate you. To say, Lord, if it had not been you on my side, when the enemy rose up against me, that they would have sold me up quick. When the anger was in, was ignited against me, blessed be the name of the Lord my God, who's not given me a spray to the teeth of my adversary. Lift up your voice tonight, people of God, and just bless the Lord. And just bless the Lord. For you're going out and you're coming in. For you're rising up, you're laying down. For the roof over your head. For the clothing, your shelter. The breath in your nostrils. The food on your table. The love around you. The love in your heart. The freedom you enjoy. The nation you live in. The family that you're part of. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, I am so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm forever grateful, everybody said to you. I'm forever grateful for the cross. I'm forever grateful to you. the lost and I'm forever grateful to you I'm forever grateful for the cross I'm forever grateful to you Jesus for you The lost one more time. I'm forever grateful to you. I'm forever grateful for the cross. I'm forever grateful to you. Children 
on their way, you know, on the night they got ready to come out of Egypt. He said, when I see that blood, who shall come here to hear Ketoda Moshka? He said, when I see that blood upon the, the doorposts of your houses, he said, the angel and the agent of wickedness, of, 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 of destruction, will pass over you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. That the calamity that befalls your neighbor will not come near your house. Is somebody hearing me? I want to begin to plead the blood of the covenant tonight, the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, Lord, and I plead the blood. Hey, I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I have no other plea. Hey, I have no other plea, oh God, but the blood of Jesus. I cover myself. I cover all you've given me in the blood of Jesus. I cover my loved ones in the blood of Jesus. I cover this hour of prayer in the blood of Jesus. The word of God in my head, I cover in the blood of Jesus. My family members, I cover in the blood of Jesus. Every person you've given in my life, oh God, I cover in the blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves, everyone, in the blood of Jesus. Come on, everyone. Everything dear to you tonight, bring under the blood. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood over our families, over our spouses, over our children, over our parents, our siblings, God. In the name of Jesus, over our family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, over our community, we plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God, if any man had not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. I want you to ask the Lord to fill you afresh with the Holy Spirit tonight. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of Christ. Is somebody hearing me? And God is that spirit. And where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. We have freedom. That's why we're connected on this mountaintop tonight. There's no distance in the spirit. If the same spirit of Christ dwells in you and it dwells in me, then we are connected. In one faith, one baptism, under one Lord, one Father. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Say, Father, fill me afresh with the Holy Ghost in Jesus. And say, Lord Jesus, baptize me afresh tonight with the Holy Ghost and with the power. With the Holy Ghost and the power. With the Holy Ghost and the fire. In the name of Jesus, fill me afresh. Come on, people of God, fill me afresh. The word of God says, be not filled with wine. Be not filled with wine. Where it is excess. Where it is excess, the be not filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord, my God, fill us tonight. Fill us tonight. Fill us tonight. In the name of Jesus, fill us with the Holy Ghost. Fill us with the Holy Ghost. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord. In the name of Jesus, give us fresh utterance tonight. Come on, somebody. Ask the Lord to give you fresh utterance. Hey, fresh utterance. And you pray a language. God, he can Like this. I mean, you're, you're 
your blessing and looks like there's sorrow in it. I want you to lift up your voices tonight, people of God. We hold captive every spirit of destruction. We hold captive right now every spirit that is not of God. Every contrary spirit binds you and we cast you out in the pits of hell. We said, let God Almighty have his way. Jehovah God has risen in the midst of us. Let all the earth be silent before him. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. We have sought the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we enthrone you over this hour, over every moment of our lives, over the airwaves, over this mountaintop. In the name of Jesus Christ, over every soul here connected. The Bible tells me that Jesus has been given a name that's about every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow of things in heaven and things on the earth and even beneath the earth. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every contrary spirit will bring you un under subjection to Jesus, the Son of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, have your way, O God. Lord Jesus, we enthrone you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. People of God, the blessing of the Lord, it makes you rich and it adds no sorrow. In other words, the blessing that God Almighty has given you is perfect. Now, if there's any area of sorrow in your life, if there be any area of sorrow in the blessing that God Almighty has given you, you have the right and the legal right to reject it. Because the one who made you and the one who made me, when he gave you that blessing, when he gave me that blessing, never added sorrow with it. So you have the legal right. Child of God, I want you to rise up in confidence and in faith tonight, believing and knowing that the forever, oh Lord God, your word is settled in heaven. And the word of God that said concerning your blessing says that the blessing of God, it makes you rich and it adds no sorrow with it. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You lift up your voice tonight. You say, I reject. I reject. I can hear you say, I reject every sorrow contaminating my blessings in the name of Jesus. I want you to work this prayer like a job right now. Come on, people of God. I reject every sorrow. Come on. I reject every sorrow contaminating my blessing in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Every sorrow contaminating the blessing God has given you. Tonight, reject them in the name of Jesus. I reject every sorrow in the name of Jesus. Come on. Reject that sorrow in your blessings and in your finances and in your family and the lives of your children and your neighborhood and your business and your ministry and your mind, your health and the work of your hand. Come on, child of God, lift up your voice. You have the word of God on it. You have the word of God on it. Forever the word of God concerning this matter is settled in heaven. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we reject every sorrow contaminating our blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come on tonight on this mountaintop to declare by the word of the Lord, by the spirit of the sovereign Lord, that every sorrow contaminating your blessing, child of God, that every sorrow contaminating my blessing is hereby rejected into the pit of hell. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Come on, people of God. I reject it. Come on. I reject it. The blessing of God that makes me rich adds no sorrow with it. I have no business with sorrow. In this year 2019, in this month of February, in this year in the name of Jesus, in this decade, for the rest of my life, and all my generations forever, we reject sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have no business with sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have no business with sorrow. Come on. Is somebody praying? Oh Lord my God, I have no business with sorrow. Oh Lord my God, I have no business with sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I have no business with sorrow. In Jesus, my name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God tonight, we said no more sorrow. It is according to Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of God, it makes you rich. It enriches your life. It makes things better for you. It causes things to work together for you. The blessing of God does. And it adds no sorrow with it. So I come to submit before you, people of God, and to submit to you by the word of God that's forever settled in heaven. That if there be sorrow in any area of your life, God is not the author of it. And tonight you're coming free in Jesus' name. Amen. Say a believing amen. amen. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Genesis 2 18 says, The Lord God said, It isn't good for the man to live alone. I will make him a suitable partner for him. And that's so, hallelujah. It said, it said, it isn't good for the man to live alone. I will make a suitable partner 
for him. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, God Almighty saw an undesirable situation. Is somebody hearing me? It is not good for a man to be alone. And that man, there are many mankind. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It isn't good for men to be alone. It's an undesirable situation. And when God Almighty found that situation, he made, a, he provided a solution. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, I will make a suitable partner for him. Hallelujah. Is there a man on this mountaintop tonight? Is there a woman on this mountaintop tonight? You've been trusting God for your own partner in life. The Lord said, it's not good for you to be alone. If you so desire a partner in life, it's the Lord prompting your heart to realize that it's not good for you to be alone. Hallelujah. But I come here to let you know that the God of Adam is still your God. That when God Almighty saw your situation so long ago, from the foundation of the earth, hallelujah, he made a suitable partner for you. But then here comes the devil, adding the sorrow of disappointment. Somebody wants to lead you to the full altar, and then it disappoints you. And then there's the heartbreak, and then there's the big betrayal and then there's all kinds of things i said the devil is a liar you're gonna lift up your voice tonight against that spirit of frustration that sorrow that the enemy has been using to plague you i said tonight you lift up your voice say i disarm yes. i can hear you say i disarm yes. i disarm yes. every sorrow yes. and my marital yes. destiny yes. by the authority yes. of jesus name in the name of Jesus, by the authority of Jesus' name, I disarm. I disarm them. Come on, people of God. D I S A R M. D I S A R M. I disarm. Come on. I disarm in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sorrow attached to my marital destiny. Lift up your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, no longer will you be disappointed. No more frustration in your marriage, in your marital destiny, in your prospects. In the name of Jesus, no longer will you be betrayed. No longer will your heart be broken. No more frustration. In the name of Jesus Christ, the people of this world might experience that. But there's a reason you're a child of God. He said, I will not let the plagues of Egypt come upon you. Lift up your voice and cry out to Jesus. Oh Lord my God, I disarm every sorrow connected with my marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, every power, every sorrow assigned to frustrate me in the area of marriage. Lift up your voice and pray. I disarm that spirit now. I disarm that power now. In the name of Jesus, as I said, you're a liar. If somebody praying, I lift up my voice and I cry out in your behalf, child of God. Not tonight, that power that's disappointing you in the area of marriage, that power that's been betraying you, breaking your heart, frustrating you, living you, hallelujah, living you in such a bad condition. I said in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that power is disarmed tonight and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power assigned to frustrate every child of God on this mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ, tonight you're disarmed forever. You're disarmed forever. The Bible says that the saints shall judge angels. We judge demons tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I speak to every power, every power of sorrow connected to anyone's marital destiny on this mountain top tonight. I said tonight you'll be some forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we call for glorious marriages. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, we call for wonderful connections. In the name of Jesus Christ, we select bone of bone and flesh of flesh. Begin to connect in the name of Jesus. We call and we speak for him to the four winds in Jesus' name. That begin to bring them forth. Begin to make that divine connection. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sorrow, come on, every sorrow attached to my marital destiny, I disown you forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God were just warming up. It's not even 8.30 yet. Hallelujah. Psalm 127 verse 3. Psalm 127 verse 3. Remember tonight we're praying no more sorrow. I know some people want you to pray some anemic prayers. You know, anemic prayers, the silent kind. You sit on the, uh, on the chair and you murmur something under your breath. Do that all along if you want. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But on this mountain, it gets hot. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 127 verse 3. 
Psalm 127 verse 3 says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. Children are a heritage from the Lord and the fruit of the womb is reward. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You already know, child of God, that the blessing of God is not permitted to be accompanied with sorrow. Yet today we see some children like David's, you know, sons and daughters of sorrow. The devil is a liar. Hey, is there somebody online? Your child causes you nothing but heartache and pain from jail to prison, from prison to jail. Always wearing the ankle bracelet. The devil is a liar. Is somebody hearing me tonight? Woo. Is there someone online? That child is just sickly all the time. You're in and out and in and out of the hospital. The Lord God said children are heritage from God. Yet here comes the devil adding all this sorrow to your own blessing. I said the devil is a liar. Perhaps you have a child who is a drug addict. Strong guy on drugs. Hanging out in the street corner all day long. I said the devil is a liar. The devil has no permission to do that to your children. Because children are a heritage from God. And the fruit of the womb is reward. God Almighty does not reward the righteous with sickness and disease. And calamities and heartache. The devil is a liar. Perhaps there's somebody online. And that child of yours is a is it a, a gang banger? Hmm. In the street gangs all day long, toting guns and doing all kinds of things. So these children are like Jabez, sons of sorrow. Tonight you're going to pray, people of God, because your children are a heritage from God. The fruit of the, of the womb, his rewards to you. And you know that the blessing of God, it makes you rich and adds no sorrow. You lift up your voice tonight. You say, by the blood. Amen. I can't hear you. Say, by the blood of the covenant. By the blood of the covenant, lift up your voice. By the blood of the covenant, I overwhelm the powers manipulating my children. In the name of Jesus, I overwhelm them. In the name of Jesus, I overwhelm them. In the name of Jesus, every power manipulating your children, child of God, tonight, we overwhelm them. By the blood of the Lamb. Hey, by the blood of Jesus. Ah, kaza, kada. In the name of Jesus, ha. In the name of Jesus Christ, I said tonight by the authority in the name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, for we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We overwhelm, we overpower, we overcome every power manipulating the children of God on this mountain. In the name of Jesus. Because after all, our children are heritage from God. And the fruit of the womb, here's reward. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to your children. That the vagabond anointing flees to the pits of hell. In the name of Jesus, that spirit of sorrow, that spirit of Jabez, that's, you know, that, that, that's manipulating your children. In the name of Jesus, I say tonight, let them go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring our children under the blood of Jesus Christ. I bring our children under the blood of Jesus. I say your spirit, hear the voice of the Lord. Hear the voice of the good shepherd. No longer will they hear strange voices. In the name of Jesus Christ, I, I deafen our children to the voice of the strangers. Jesus Christ said, my sheep know my voice. My sheep knows my voice. And the voice of the stranger, they will not hear. No longer will your children hear the voice of strangers. In the name of Jesus, I, no longer children hear the voice of strangers in the name of Jesus Christ from tonight they hear only the voice of Jesus the son of God in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus name we pray here on God this leads us to Jabez you can't pray this kind of prayer without talk, touching on, on Jabez second chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9 to 10 praise the name of the Lord second chronicles chapter 4 9 to 10. Second Chronicles 4, 9 to 10. Now, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Did you hear that? Somebody said more honorable. honorable. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called him Jabez. His mother called his name Jabez, saying, Before, because I bore him in pain. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. It's getting hot in here. I feel it all over me. Now, Jabez's mother had 
this beautiful gift from God. Psalm 127 verse 3 tells us that children are a heritage from the Lord. And you know that the blessing of God that make you rich, that make your life better, they enlarge your coast, expand your territory, and they add no sorrow. Yet, something was added to the life of Jabez. His mother unwittingly, hallelujah, added sorrow to his life. And what was her reason? Because she bore him in sorrow. The devil is a liar. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when Jabez realized that he had something extra in his destiny that was a hindrance, he went before the Lord. And he cried out before the sovereign Lord. Is somebody praying on this mountain tonight? I want you to pray like Jabez. There's a reason, there's a whole book, I think, dedicated to the prayer of Jabez. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Forgive me, people of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, there's a reason this man, you know, they have an entire book dedicated to the prayer of Jabez. And tonight we're going to pray. Is there that person on this mountaintop? God Almighty has made you wonderful, but something brought sorrow into your life. Could be a, a failed marriage, failed business, a career that just wouldn't take off, children that are just all over the place, or you're barren, you can't get married. I don't know what it is that's your problem. Could be spiritual, could be physical, could be financial. I don't know what it is. But I want you to know that when this man Jabez realized there was something extra that had been introduced into his destiny, he didn't take this lying down. And I don't want you to take it lying down tonight. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You're going to cry out to the Lord like Jabez. Say, oh Lord my God, oh my God. lift up your voice. Huh? Oh Lord my oh God, my God, bless me indeed. In the name of Jesus. Come on, people of God. God Almighty has made you promises. But tonight, you're asking the Lord to bless you indeed. You want to see the manifestation of the blessing of the Lord in your life, in your family. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh Lord my God, bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Let every area of my life manifest the blessing of God. Let the promises of God come true in my life. Let them shine forth. God God Yes, Lord, you've made a lot of promises. But Lord God Almighty, I lift up my voice. Bless me indeed. The Lord God of Jabez. Arise, O oh God, tonight. Bless your people indeed. People of God, lift up your voice. Nobody prayed on behalf of Jabez. He lifted up his voice and he connected with heaven. And God gave him a change of story. Lift up your voice tonight. Oh Lord, my God, get me a change of story. Bless me indeed. Ah, Jesus, bless me indeed. Come on, be specific. Is there an area of your life where you want God Almighty to bless you indeed? You want to see the manifestation of the blessing of the sovereign Lord? Lift up your voice, people of God. Father, bless me indeed. Father, bless me indeed. Let me see the manifestation of the promises of God in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus, mighty name we pray. You said, Father, we're still praying in line with Jabez right now. Say, Father, enlarge my territory. Lift up your voice, huh? Oh, Lord, my God, enlarge my territory. In the name of Jesus, enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Expand my borders. In the name of Jesus, extend me as far. Extend me beyond what the eye can see. Beyond what the eyes can see. In the name of Jesus, is somebody praying? Lift up your voice. Are you tired of being in the same position from one year to another? No progress, no promotion. The enemy is frustrating you. Lift up your voice, oh Lord my God. Enlarge my coat. Hey, Kasika, Ikarasika, Masikono Suya Kalababa, Jebredi Kariane Kelia. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, enlarge my coat. Expand my territory. In the name of Jesus, enlarge me, oh God, on every point. In the mighty name of Jesus, expand my riches, oh God, beyond what the eye can see. 
studied the prayer of Jabez. This was a man who understood that the blessing of the Lord, it makes you rich. And it adds no sorrow. But then he realized that there was sorrow in his own life. So what did he do? He went to the giver of the blessing. He said, Lord God, this is what I read concerning you. In Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22, that your blessing, it makes you one rich. And adds no sorrow. But here I am. You know, here I am. There's a record that I'm more honorable than all my brethren. Yet my situation is not reflected. So he went before the Lord and said, Lord, change my story. And somebody online tonight said, Lord, change my story. Come on. Somebody said, Lord, change my story. Lift up your voice. Oh, Lord, my God, change my story. Jesus, change my story. If it was good, I wanted to be better. If it was better, I wanted to be the best. If it's the best, I wanted to even get better. In the name of Jesus, better than the best. In the name of Jesus, Father, change my story. Jesus, change my story. Change the story of God of my children. Change the story of my family member. Change the story of every child of God connected on this mountain. And in the story of that unbeliever, that person that doesn't know Christ yet. Jesus, arise. Change their story. Jehovah, I hand them to you. Change their story. Let them know you're a good God. Let them know with God all things are possible. Let them know with you, oh God, there's nothing impossible. That you are a good, a, a do-gooder. You're the good God who does good things. Jehovah, arise tonight. Jehovah, arise tonight. Give your people a change of story. Everyone under the sound of my voice, arise, oh God, and give them a change of story. In Jesus, my name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God, you say, Lord, let your sovereign hand, so let your sovereign hand be with me in all my life's journey. In the name of Jesus, let the sovereign hand of the Lord come on. The sovereign hand of the Lord that parted the Red Sea. Hey. Lift up your voice and cry to the Lord. My Father and my God, let your sovereign hand be with me, O oh God, in all of my life's journey. In all of my life's journey, I call upon you. Adonai Shabbat. I call upon you. Jehovah the mighty man of war. I call upon you. Eternal Father, I call upon you. Heavenly Father, let your sovereign hand, let your sovereign hand be with me in all of my life's journey. Is somebody praying? Young people praying. Lift up your voice and cry out. Daddy, Lord, it's a long way to Jerusalem. I must get there in life. Let your sovereign hand be with me. Let your sovereign hand be with me in this journey of life. Prosper me in everything I do. Talk to Jesus. Prosper me, prosper me in everything that I do. Oh Lord, my God, prosper me in everything that I do. Jesus, prosper me in everything that I do. In Jesus, my name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Give it up though we have just 20 minutes. I want you to labor the next prayer points like a woman in the maternity ward. Hallelujah. I want you to bring forth something tonight. When I hear the joke, I have other things to do with my one hour. But you know, this is so much more important. And this is why we're here tonight, praising the name of the Lord Jesus. So don't just come in here, you know, like a Hallelujah. Don't just come in here like, oh, what are they just doing over there? People of God, we're here for a change of story. We're here for a divine encounter. We're here to surrender our problems to the God that has the solution. Is somebody online. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're going to lift up your voice and say, Lord, keep me from evil and keep evil from me. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh, Lord, my God, keep me from evil. Keep evil from me. Ah, in the name of Jesus, we're like oil and water. We don't mix. In the name of Jesus, come on, I can hear you, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, full of God, oh Lord, keep me from evil, and keep evil from me, keep them away from my address, keep them away from my neighborhood, keep evil away from my memory, keep evil away from my business, keep evil away, oh God, from my home, in the name of Jesus, keep evil away, oh God, from my ministry, keep evil away from the lives of my children, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my God, keep evil away from the lives of my family members, in the name of Jesus, keep evil away from me, oh God, and keep me from evil, in Jesus, mighty name we pray.
pain. Keep me from pain. And keep me from causing pain. Hallelujah. Keep me from pain. And keep me from causing pain. You don't want pain. But at the same time, you don't want to cause pain to your fellow man. The Bible says you love the Lord your God with all you got. But in the same way, you got to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So as you pray tonight, as you pray for yourself, that the Lord God Almighty keep me from pain. You also say, Lord, keep me from causing pain. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. My Father and my God, keep me from pain. Keep me, Jesus, from pain. Keep me, Jesus, from pain over the issues of life. Keep me from pain over family issues. Keep me from pain in the name of Jesus Christ. And keep me, Lord, from causing pain in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Arise, O oh Lord, my God. Keep me from pain. And keep me, Lord, from causing pain. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God, hallelujah, we have 15 minutes. Just hang in there. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I want you to remember, every Tuesday night, we have this hour of prayer broadcast on this Facebook live, um, you know, page. Hallelujah. Or just go to my page for like at Israel. You'll find it from 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're all invited. Tell your friends about it. The Lord bless you. As you let people know what God Almighty is doing in Jesus' name. Amen. And life will never be the same in Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 13. Matthew 13, 24 to 25. Matthew 13, 24 to 25 says, The kingdom of God is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, the king of Jerusalem said, but while men slept, praise the name of the Lord Jesus, his enemy came and sowed weeds or tars, praise the name of the Lord Jesus, among the wheat and went away. People of God, tonight we're praying, no more sorrow. If you can't feel buried, that's up to you. But as for me, I've had it up to here and I can't take that junk anymore. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus, can't take it no more. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. The blessing of God, it makes you rich and has no sorrow. And that sorrow has no parking, no parking for the devil in your life and in my life anymore in Jesus' name. The Bible tells me that the good man of the house, he sowed good seed in his, in his soil. 
yourself better than I do. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, somebody said to you, oh, you have personality disorder. A personality disorder. Today you're Mr. Jekyll, and then tomorrow you're Mr. Hyde. The devil is a liar. Jesus said Satan is a liar and the father of it. So whose report do you believe will speak to that personality disorder? That in the name of Jesus, Satan is a liar. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we command you to come back to yourself in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. They say you're bipolar, manic, depressive. But Jesus says you're not. So whose report will you believe? I come to serve notice of that situation in your life. That tonight it has to give way in Jesus' name. Amen. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. And God Almighty has settled that situation. That whatever tree the Father has not planted must be rooted up and cast in the fire. I speak to the spirit of many depressive. I said, get out into the pits of hell in Jesus' name. Because it is written that the saints shall judge angels. Huh? Saints shall judge angels, demons. We bind them right now and cast them out in the pits of hell in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I command seeds of sexual immorality, seeds of, of perversion, seeds of pornography, seeds that are making you a stench in the nostrils of God. We command those seeds to be roasted tonight by the fire of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Ha ha. We speak to those seeds that the enemy planted. You were just surfing the internet and then your eye caught something. And all of a sudden, you've been in bondage. I say, in the name of Jesus and him crucified, that from tonight you're free in Jesus' name. Amen. Not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the sovereign Lord. By the name of Jesus, the one we call on this mountain. I say, you're free in Jesus' Amen. name. Every seed of sexual perversion, every seed of immorality, every seed of, you know, just wretched sinfulness. I said, that seed is roasted by the fire of God in Jesus' name. After all, our God is a consuming fire. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God, we have just 10 minutes. Just hang in there. It is well with you. It's well with me. In Jesus' name. In the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 13. Matthew 15, 13. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. And he said, Every plant that my father in heaven did not plant will be pulled up by the roots. Hey. Every plant. Because we have some prayer points I wanted us to hit. 
before we go. So let's just spread this woman prayer point and then we'll call it a night. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now listen, from the moment Israel came out of Egypt, are you getting me? The God of heaven moved. Even before they left Egypt, he moved. And from the moment they stepped out of Egypt, they became a terror to the adversaries. Is somebody hearing me? Nations heard about the nation of Israel because of the great and mighty things that God Almighty by his sovereign hand had wrought in the midst of those people. Nations became afraid of them. Kings quaked before them. Hallelujah. And they did wonders in war. They were mighty in battle because the Holy One of Israel was in the midst of them. Is somebody hearing me tonight? But then something happened. Joshua chapter 7 from verse 1. A but came into the equation. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. A B-U-T came into the situation. The word of God tells us, Joshua chapter 7 verse 1. Joshua 7 verse 1. But the children of Israel committed a trespass regarding the accursed things. They had said they did something. The word of the Lord tells us that for Achan, the son of of Palmai, the son of Zebdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of the accursed things. So the anger of the Lord burned against the children of Israel. I'm just going to cut a very long story short. God had told them, when you get in Jericho, destroy everything. Don't take anything for yourself. Just, just those things are accursed. Don't take them. But here came greed and covetousness in the life of that man called Achan. And he took some precious things and he took them into the camp of Israel. And then the wrath of God came upon the camp. And you know what happened? They didn't even realize that something had happened until it was time to go face the nation of Ai. Ai was a tiny little nation. And you know, when the spies went out to check on Ai, they looked at it and it came back to Joshua and they said, you know, you don't even have to send all the mighty men of war, but they just send a few people because the people of Ai are so few. We can take them out like that. That was the report they gave on to Joshua. And that was what Joshua did. But lo and behold, the children of Israel turned their, their back, you know, because of their enemy. Is somebody hearing me? Because the Lord gave victory to their enemy over them. Why? Because somebody had brought an accursed thing into the camp of Israel. And the anger of God had been kindled against that nation. People of God, the blessing of God in your life and in my life, make us rich and have no sorrow. But when you start to see sorrow, you need to check yourself. Is there an Achan in the camp? Or are you the Achan in, the, in your own camp who's brought wickedness and sin and wretchedness in your own camp? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, people of God today, people are so fascinated with pornography and sexual immorality, the devil and the occult, negative supernatural. Is somebody hearing me? Some people are addicted, you know, to perversion, contaminating their own blessing. Tonight, you're going to pray, people of God. God Almighty has not come to condemn anyone. He's come that we may repent and enjoy the fullness of the blessing of God. Remember tonight, we said no more sorrow. Praise the name of the Lord. No more sorrow. You're going to lift up your voice and repent on behalf of yourself and your family. Say, by the mercy of God. Say, by the mercy of God. Let the sin in my camp be washed away by the blood of Jesus. Let the sin in my camp be washed away by the blood of Jesus. Is somebody praying? Come on, lift up your voice. Oh, Lord, my God, by the mercy of God, by the mercy of God, let the sin in my camp be washed away by the blood of Jesus. You know what that sin is. You need to get under that bed and go get those pornographic materials out. For some reason, we just keep talking about that. There's somebody online. You need to repent. You got to throw that computer away. You need to check away from those websites. In the name of Jesus, you need to get accountable to somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ. So the sin doesn't bring wretchedness into your camp. Lift up your voice. Don't be an Achan in the camp. 
life and expect your blessings to not get contaminated with sorrow. Lift up your voice tonight. Oh Lord my God, by the mercy of God, let the sin in my camp be washed away by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus, my name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God, I have a very special invitation for you. And the Lord has been putting this in my heart, you know, for a while now. Hallelujah. And it's about, you know, having everyone, you know, just send your prayer requests. We're going to take next Tuesday, that entire hour, we're going to just talk. We're just going to pray about your prayer requests. We're just going to pray about what you need heaven to do for you. We're just going to focus on you. Is somebody hearing me? And if you want us to call your name out, we're going to do that. Is somebody online? If you want us to pray anonymously, we're going to do that also. So please remember, call out Israel, or you get to our of prayer, and just inbox us your prayer request. I guess next Tuesday, if you can come fasting, that would be wonderful. If you can come fasting, that would be glorious. But just show up, child of God. Send that prayer request. I have some in here already. But since we're out of time tonight, we're just going to postpone them. We're going to be praying over this, but we're just going to postpone this for all of us to pray about next Tuesday night. So I beg you in the name of Jesus. There's nothing impossible with God. I'm not here to just take somebody's time. I know the God that I serve is a miracle worker. He's the solution you've been looking for. This is why I bother to take this. I'm a busy woman, people of God. But I take this time up, you know, take this time out because I know that God Almighty will solve, you know, the, the, the problem in your life that Jesus loves you and he wants you to know. Is somebody online tonight? Come on, send those prayer requests. And next Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, we're going to labor those prayers like a woman in the maternity ward. Is somebody hearing me? And we'll see God Almighty do wonderful things in your life in Jesus' name. Is there someone under the sound of my voice? You want to give your heart to Jesus? I see a lot of people joining us, you know, from, you know, so many nations. Hallelujah. And I just want to pray for you tonight. And there's somebody who wants Jesus to be their Lord and Savior. Just pray along with me tonight. Say, Heavenly Father. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Oh Lord, I repent of my wickedness. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that you are the Son of God. You came to the earth to die for my sin. And on the third day, you rose again. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Be my Lord and my Savior. Fill me with your Holy Ghost and give me the power to live my life for you. From this moment, I'm a child of God. I'm born again in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I congratulate you. I celebrate you. I love you. The same grace of Jesus Christ that has brought you will take you all the way in Jesus' name. We'll bless you. We'll bring blessings into your life without any sorrow. We'll help you to grow and develop in Him in Jesus' name. I cover us all in the blood of Jesus. No one will ever be able to steal or contaminate our testimony in Jesus' name. The Lord watch you going out, you're coming in, you're laying down, you're rising up from this time forward and forevermore in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare that every retaliation of the enemy against anyone of us backfires upon the center in Jesus' name. It is well with you, it is well with me. Until we meet again next Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And please don't forget to join us Sunday mornings, 11 30 a.m. on Facebook Live. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Can we share the grace and fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Abide with us now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. To God be all the glory. Good night.